Hi, I'm Melissa Munn with facepaint.com. This is my beautiful model Camille and today I'm going to show you how to add glitter to your line work. So here I'm going to go over a few different ways on how to apply glitter to your line work. So right now I'm going to just do some little teardrops here and just doing them in fab white and then I'm going to roll my paintbrush into my glitter and I'm just going to tap the glitter. I'm going to take a little of, make sure you take a little of the paint off your brush. And this works really great for um, adult eye designs. I do a lot of adult face painting and no one really ever gives up glitter. <laughs> Everyone loves the glitter. So I'm just going to show you some examples of how beautiful, how simple and how fast it can be just to give a little bit more um, grown up element to your line work. I'm going to use a little red. I'm going to take a little um, brush paint off my brush, dip it in my red glitter, and you just need to tap your brush into the glitter. Now I have um, Fab Gold and I have some Mayron um, mixing powder in there. So I'm just gonna, for the purpose of this demonstration, just do a little bit of swirls and curls and then wipe my brush off a little bit and just add a little gold glitter, which is our favorite. And then one tip on using liquid bling you don't have to uh, do, you don't have to completely encapsulate every um, teardrop in liquid bling. It actually looks too thick and um, you can kill yourself doing all this amazing line work and teardrops and then you can mess it up with the liquid bling. Because if the liquid bling doesn't go around the, um, the uh, shape just so, then it just looks kind of less flow. Also, if you mess up your line work, you can fix it with liquid bling, which is amazing. You can just cover up those little mistakes. That's what I always like to do. So what I like to do is I just hit the design with a little, little accent of glitter. And that's really, that's a lot of bang for your buck right there. You don't have to spend the time laboriously doing the entire uh, design. Also, sometimes if you're not using the right applicator, it can look very thick and it just looks like it's gonna fall and lip, like drip down the model's face. So that's, that's not cute. I'm just kind of hitting where I would do the highlights and the low lights. And that is it. Just add this to your eye designs and your princess designs and um, your clients will love it. Thanks for watching. All the links to the products are listed down below and please like this if you want to see more.